In this lesson, what we're going to look at is how to link two web pages together. So I'm looking inside of my assignment one website folder. And inside of here, I have a couple images. I have my CSS folder and a couple files. Right now, the only file I'm concerned with is this cats.html. And let's open that up and take a look. You can see it's a pretty simple site or page. The only thing that I have on here is I have a heading. It should read dangerouscats.com. I have a subheading in blue. Then I have three links here. One pointing to cats.html, which is this page. And that's going to be our home page, apparently. The other two links should read Crazy Cats and Watch Dangerous Cats. The second one's going to get linked to another file within our website. And that file is going to be gallery.html. We haven't created that yet. This third link is pointing to youtube.com. So let's pay attention to those. I'm going to open this up in the browser. And here's what we see. We have our heading, our subheading, and our three links. If I click on our first link, it should just take us to the same page. So you don't see anything new. And if you look in the URL, it'll tell you where it's going. It's going for desktop assignment one cats.html. If I click on crazy cats we get file not found but look at the URL it's looking for it and it can't find it it's because it doesn't exist yet now if I click on the watch dangerous cats you can see it's going to YouTube and that link works so right now that's what we should have most of the time you want your websites to have some sort of conformity um, so if we are creating just links in our header, we can just copy that and create a new document and paste it in there. We don't have a, uh, a name for this file yet, so let's save this. Make sure you're saving it inside of the the correct folder and give it the correct name gallery.html in this case now if we go back and check out our our links home goes to home crazy cats notice we don't get the file not found so that means it's working Let's put in something a little different so we can recognize each page. So that's going to be the web gallery. I'm going to switch over here to the home page. Save that one also. Refresh my browser. So right now, again, I'm in the web gallery. You can tell by looking in the URL that, that is correct. Click to the home page. So both of the links are working correctly. And again, we'll just double check this one to make sure yeah, that's working. And there you go. That's how we link two web pages together.